you should see if it works, and then if it doesn't, then you can do it another night. You can just, we can make a video another night. Oh, yeah. ye of little faith. Or too yeah. much faith. You have you have either too little or too much faith. Hi, I'm host Derek, host talking with fancy people. And these guys think that we can talk about the issue of time and functions in a way that would be trying to recreate the last video about time and functions, when in reality, I, have, I don't even remember what that last video was about. How can we possibly recreate it? I, I wouldn't even attempt. I, I know that the thesis is all, right? I think this video is about host Eric's relapse into ODD. <laughs> Uh-oh, have I relapsed? But the wagon's gone. <laughs> um, okay, so look, here's the point of the whole topic. It was that time is, I think, more of an SI thing than an NI thing. And I want to talk specifically about the SI end of it more this time. So... My position on the SI thing is that the way it impacts my life is it makes it difficult for me to execute plans that require persistence and consistency more than persistence, right? Persistence is I can do. Consistency, I can't. If I can persist in ways that are always new, different ways or something like that, then then it's not doesn't require any discipline. I don't like things that require self-discipline. Same variety of inconsistency. Or a theme that requires broad um, paths, but still can, remains within the framework. Can you repeat that? Is, I missed the beginning of it. So I'm saying, um, I think, I mean, for me personally, I like, because I like certain amounts of organization, but not too, um, too strict. So I think I can describe it as I like variety within consistency. So if you want to stick to something, you need a lot of variety within that thing. To keep right. To it. I agree with that. I like that description of it as well. Uh, I, I think that for SI, who people have SI in the fourth or seventh slot, they have trouble understanding, separating out whether this thing here is a momentary thing or a long term thing or a medium term thing. And they have trouble understanding that their feelings and thoughts about things are going to change a lot. So it's like, I might feel enthusiastic about this today, uh, but like if I don't have that element of variation within the set like you're talking about, then I'm going to probably wane in my enthusiasm for it fairly quick. It needs to have some implicit variability or else it, I'm going to lose interest in it uh, quickly. So I see that as an SI thing, and I see that's why I have so much trouble with the keeping track of the bills and and keeping the house clean and, and all that kind of shit. I hate work that requires maintenance. I want work that's done to stay done. Like shit like washing dishes, they don't stay clean. They don't. That's why I'm surprised you got so many pets. Yeah, well... Just don't point the camera to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I have, I mean, the thing is the cat, I, I didn't choose to get any of the pets. It, none of them were my choice, but they're all, my, they're all my pets. Because, because of your daughter or because? Well, Lacey, okay. I was, I agreed to watch the dog while they, while we put up signs for the owner to come get it or whatever. It was, it had no collar, nothing on it. It was just a stray dog. And I ended up falling in love with her, and I couldn't, I couldn't put it to signs, you know. And then <laughs> Delilah talked me into Compton somehow. I don't know how she fucking did that. She waited until I was like fully added up. <laughs> She's like, "This is a good did idea." You have a plan for it at that point. What's that? You have a plan for it at that point. I just thought it, read it really fast. So <laughs> no, I wasn't like that. Exactly. I just thought. It just seemed like a good idea. I don't know. Uh, the cat was taken from its mother too young and was in need of of care, you know. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't not not take it. Guinea pigs. Candace brought the guinea pig home when she quit being a preschool teacher. That's how we got the first guinea pig. And then now I have this theory that you shouldn't have a guinea pig by itself. It needs a friend. So I refuse to not have just one guinea pig. Two male guinea pigs don't get along with each other. So you end they up fight. having infinite. Yeah, they, 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 one of them is a big bully. 
Yeah. So I mean, it's hard to watch. <laughs> well, they're not the toughest creatures in the world. That's <laughs> true. Uh, so anyway, that's why I always have this little ever-growing herd of guinea pigs and my my habit of releasing them periodically into the wild. How do they fend in L.A.? Well, I'm sure the coyotes appreciate my releasing them into the wild. You haven't seen them around, so they must be out there thriving. <laughs> right. Well, we got to sit on asking for rent or money or anything. <laughs> apparently guinea pigs don't survive in the wild, apparently. Because they're, they're too domesticated. So well, you I, let them out and they're kind of like, now what? <laughs> they're a well, completely I, worthless animal. They're, okay, I, they're, <laughs> they're walking dog food. Well, listen, um, I put I put them in a park or at a golf course. I put them someplace where there's lots of grass for them to eat and stuff. You know, I don't just put them... <laughs> some place where people profit? walking their dogs or drunk men swinging sticks. You could sell them. <laughs> <laughs> You can sell them. I don't guinea want, pigs and sell them. I don't want to be a guinea pig Pets. breeder as a profession. <laughs> okay. How do you choose which ones to let go? All right, I do choose which ones to let go. The ones I don't like. <laughs> uh, I was going to accuse you of using too much FI, and then you mentioned that little eugenics program you had going on there. It's like, no, never mind. Well, I am actually sort of doing a eugenics program that says that I try to breed them for, for friendliness. The more friendly ones are the ones I keep, and the less friendly That's ones... You, you can absolutely do that. That it's now, it, now it's cool. What's weird is they go through a inbreeding cycle, though. There's a litter that, that comes out deformed. <laughs> and that's really kind of awful. But then they get over it. <laughs> then they get over it, and then the inbreeding doesn't cause that anymore. I don't know why. Well, yeah. Are the whole generation or just a litter? I don't. Well, I guess one, I don't know much about how guinea pig breeding works. They well, just start not all over the place, like. Right. So as soon as there's children from this current pair, they will start humping the mother, humping their sisters. Doesn't matter. They all hump each other. Dad will hump no, the ch children. No they have no class at all. No. They don't. They're yeah. classless animals. I'm staring. Yes. Uh, I actually got some information on guinea pigs. Like, did y'all know that they're actually uh, used for like medicines stuff in the Andes and sacrifice and rituals by the Incans? Well, uh, you know, if I ever need Incan magic, I'll keep that in mind. I I'm not in the habit of. Of engaging in Incan magic, but that could change. Maybe it should. Of all the sacrificable animals, or any that's that's like the lamest sacrifice that I've heard of. Yeah, so <laughs> the only other thing you got is like llamas and whatever. Like there aren't many mammals. I'm, I'm yeah. Incan god of the mountain. Give me a llama. Well, Compton is actually must be Incan because Compton has sacrificed several of these guinea pigs now, uh, much what to my Com dismay. Compton's a little yellow dog. I don't know. She's not any kind of dog. I don't know. But, you know, some mutt. We got her for free. Up the true fit. So, SI is the topic, but we've gotten off topic a little bit talking about animals instead. My, my point about SI being, number one, having poor SI guarantees that we are not going to try to duplicate that last video. As proven here, is this video anything like the first video? No. If only why? you knew. And it's because it would be impossible to, to try to remember all that stuff and stay on topic, I think. It would just be so difficult. Uh, I do believe in stay, trying to stay on topic as a general rule, but uh, I also know that there's going to be some tangents as necessitated by new topics coming up during the course of the conversation. But I try to bring it back around. So any thoughts about how NI might substitute for SI? If, in fact, you have SI in a bad slot and you have NI in the conscious stack, I don't know. INFJ I Mark. I can Say again. SI a tool. And I is like completely different from SI. Not. What, what you I mean, when it comes to, like, remembering details and stuff. But Margie I mean, says, 
NI is the intuition of time. Yeah. Now I so see think... I see SI is very time time management related. Like in my my opinion, like NI and SI are like two sides of the same coin. One of them remembers uh, past experiences, the other remembers past concepts. It's uh, it's interesting stuff. A little upset because I was about to say they were two sides of the same coin. You need to stop doing that to me, Matt. <laughs> well, I don't think it's about the past, though, with either of them. I think it's just about detail, like level of detail. That's what all introversion, introverted functions are about. So SI looks with really close detail at, like, senses, sensing world kind of stuff, and NI looks with really close detail and makes a whole kind of pattern about more philosophical concepts or abstract concepts. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I agree that NI is much more abstract, right? For sure. And I think that the, that, that's why I think that ultimately when people have difficulty with managing their identity through time, it's an SI issue, not an NI issue. Uh, even though NI might be time corralling in a holistic way, it's not really time managing. Yeah. Any other thoughts before we end this video? Abraham, I'm going to call you in a little bit. Um, I like, I try to journal, but I don't follow through with journaling a lot. Like, I want to journal, but I, I don't want to do it. Right. You want to, you want to have done it, but you don't want to actually do it. You want to have right. a journal for reference. Yeah, and it's great because my memory is terrible. I have the absolute worst memory in the world, so I like going back and saying, oh, that's what I meant, that's what I said, or that's what I learned. Um, and I just don't like doing it a lot. So I just kind of remember, I try to remember what I was thinking back then, and I have no idea what I was thinking. I Do video kinda... journals. Do video journals. Upload them to YouTube. Put them on private if you don't want anybody to see them. At least you got a, a storehouse of your journals and you don't have to write. I have no idea how to do that. It's easy. You can figure it out. That's an SI yeah. grocery, so like, amazing. journaling has helped me so much. Say again? Like, since I started journaling. Like, I have SI in tertiary, so it's quite weak, and journaling has helped me so much. Like, when you actually stick to it, and, like, I don't stick to it very well, but when I it, do it, it's so good for remembering is, and, like, thinking about it. Is tertiary three? Yeah. Okay. What's four called? Quaternary. What? Inferior. Inferior. Quaternary. Quaternary. <laughs> yeah, that's a word. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's, that's a thing. Okay, but I'd say that's not what we refer to it as. Oh. Inferior well, Inferior. Okay, cool. All right. Well, guys, I think it's going to bring this video and this evening to a close. Thank you so much for being here, those of you in the room, and thank you at home for watching. Uh, as always, I'd like to remind you of the important things in life. That uh, the issue of cheese consumption is significant, and I want you to please remember to attend to it to the best of your abilities. And have a great evening.